That's not good. Okay, everyone. Um, thanks for the introduction. My name is Chris Goodine. Um, sorry about being late. Literally, I was 10 minutes late of checking in my bag, and next thing I know, I'm on a flight that's three hours later. So glad to be here. Um, just came from SFO. So, yeah, very excited about this. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, the presentation that I'd like to make is called One Step Closer to the Holodeck. If anyone is a Star Trek fan here, you know what the holodeck is? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, okay, so, and uh, my name is Chris Gadine. There's my Twitter handle. I'm a developer evangelist at the Filmic Labs. Uh, we're based out of Waterloo, Ontario, in Canada. And we build the My Armband. If any of you guys know what that is, if you don't, you'll find out soon enough. Um, so let's talk about VR. I mean, that's why we're all here, right? Um, so VR is exploding. It's it's a really really exciting space to be in right now. It's a it's a great piece of technology. The possibilities are endless. Um, and we actually have Oculus Rift to, to thank for this. I mean, there's been a lot of VR innovations over the past probably 20, 30 years, um, NASA's had an influence there, even Nintendo's had an influence. Um, it's been developing, but it's really once Oculus started integrating cell phone technology into the, into the VR headset, um, that really took it to a mainstream. And then you have fast followers like Sony over here trying to keep up um, with, this, with this trend. It's, it's really exciting. Um, so why? Like, what is it about the VR that makes it so real, so exciting? Well, it's the ultimate dream world. I mean, we all love dreaming, we all have fantasy dreams, and, and virtual reality actually allows us to enter in those dreams. Um, you can take on any role that you like within this world, um, you can enter whatever environment you wish, um, and you can escape the, the, the rules and regulations of reality. You can, you can go off and venture off. And as developers, entering this space just allows us to, to take our minds into our creative space and just go, go nuts. Whatever we want, we can do in virtual reality, which is, which is crazy exciting. But you know, like this is really just the beginning. Today, we're sitting on our couch, we throw on our Oculus Rift, we grab our PS3 controller, whatever, and then we go into it. But in truth, you know, there's a lot more potential here. We can actually enter in full immersion. We can get into this world. We can interact with the environment. We can meet other people within this world. We can enter the world of the holodeck. And this is, this is really the end goal, I think. I think we're slowly moving in that direction. Um, and you can, actually, you can actually see that a little bit today. I mean, it started off with the Oculus Rift, bringing it mainstream, but we're starting to see new technologies emerge, still within the VR space, but adding an additional component, and that's mobility. Um, so you see the glyph right here, you see the cardboard um, virtual headset. Um, they, they essentially just use your cell phone to, to give you the, the display. But what th one thing that's really neat here is that you don't have any wires. You're free to move about your world um, within this virtual space. Um, and, that's, and that's really important. If we want this holodeck experience, this is the direction that we need to move in. Another thing, and, that, and we saw it in the presentation before that, is interaction. We need to be able to touch the objects within our environment. That, that, without that, it's not really a virtual world. It's just, it's just an image that, that updates when you turn your head. Um, and there's a lot of great technologies out here. Right here you see a cam camera-based system. There's hand uh, sensors in the gloves there. But in truth, cameras, cables, gloves, wires, all these things are not good. <laughs> <laughs> They're really not good. If we want to have the holodeck experience, we can't be tethered down by these, these things. We need to have our hands free. We need, to, we need to be able to get them wet. We need to just grab objects like we would in the real world. Um, and that's where Dalmic Labs comes in. Um, so this technology, the Myo armband, is actually inspired by the Minority Report. If you remember that whole interactive computer in the, in the movie there, um, it kind of inspired this this technology, and what's really neat about that is it has the same premise as the camera or glove-based um, solutions, um, which is essentially you want to be able to reach out into an environment and grab objects. You want to be able to use your hands to interact with your digital technologies. Uh, one thing that's really unique about this device in particular is the fact that along the eight channels here, you have EMG sensors. 
So EMG sensors are not new. Like this, this technology is really old. It's just been applied in a new way. Um, you see it in the, in the operating room, those electrodes, those circular electrodes on your chest that monitor your heart. Same technology. It's, it's simply monitoring the electrical activations um, that occur when you flex your muscles. Um, so we built an armband that basically looks for patterns in your muscle activity and will translate that to a hand gesture. So as you make a fist or you spread your fingers, we can understand that based on our machine learning algorithms. Another thing that's unique about this technology is that it takes advantage of IMU. So nine axis IMU gives you a very un accurate understanding of orientation. So as a user rolls, pitches, or yaws their, their forearm, you can actually detect that. So we've taken this technology and we've applied it to virtual reality. We started off with these two arms floating in space and they stayed exactly the same spot. You'd look down and it felt completely detached from your own experience. One of the things we found early on though was when we put our arms into exactly the same position as we saw on the screen and just held them there, there was this weird little magical moment where just for a second it felt like those were your arms that you were looking at. Once we started adding motion to these, having the arms react to your arms moving around, that illusion went from something that just lasted for a moment to something that would last for the entire experience. step closer to the holodeck. Um, with the Myo armband, we just publicly released our SDK. We started to ship the units that you see in the image here to our early developers. Um, we have 40,000 pre-orders or more to, to fulfill, and those will be fulfilled within the next couple of months. Um, so it's a really exciting time for this space, um, and we're happy to be a part of it. Thank you.